she was begging for help in her jail cell. To the hospital. New evidence in the mysterious death of Tanisha Chappelle. The tapes, the footage was highly temperate. It's been almost a year since the 23-year-old mother died in this Jackson County jail. She'd been vomiting and was lethargic for 16 hours before she was taken to the hospital. The case was eventually closed and her cause of death was ruled undetermined. But shocking new jailhouse interviews and letters from inmates, it could point to a racially motivated crime. I'm Justin Carter. This is a TSR Investigates update. On July 16, 2021, surveillance video captured Tanisha Chappelle laid out on the floor of the Jackson County Jail. She was pleading for help. Can you come do something? What's up? Uh, do you not see that we got a naked lady on the floor in here? She was vomiting, moaning in pain, and at one point, so sick, she stumbled and struck her head on her metal bed frame. Her cries for help to get to the hospital went unheard until it was too late. Tanisha ultimately died. Hospital emergency room staff first noted her symptoms were similar to antifreeze poisoning. Despite reports of Tanisha likely suffering from, quote, probable toxicity from an unknown substance, testing done by another crime lab concluded that there were no chemicals found in her system. And the Jackson County prosecutor wrote in his report that no crimes were committed by the inmates or employees of the Jackson County Jail system was very wary like she will always let the um let the guards know let the jailers know that hey i'm going in the shower um i'm on camera just in case they try to do anything the shade room got a hold of a taped interview with a former inmate of the jackson county jail she says another inmate named sylvia terry admitted to poisoning tanisha she said it was racially motivated it was a constant racial thing going on but they got the guards back there and the guards didn't give a damn sylvia didn't care Megan McIntosh didn't care, Amanda Burton didn't care, and Mia Dagonia. Those are the ones that tormented her. Megan McIntosh made a, she made a, a, a noose out of some old material or whatever that Sylvia had. As a matter of fact, when the day that, um, that I got moved into the pod with Kimberly Rosales, one of the guards had walked in there and told Tanisha to get her body step off the bed. Then Sylvia snapped on everybody, well, basically Tanisha, and said there ain't nobody going to do nothing unless they go through me. Tanisha didn't come back out of the room much that night. And within a few hours, you could, she was getting really sick. They had a, they put a target on her back, and they supposed to hash this plan. And it was only supposed to make her really sick. In this letter, another inmate wrote that there were two other inmates that devised a plan, and they spiked her, quote, stuff with cleaner and they contaminated her pop, pickle juice, and food. It goes on to say that they never meant to kill her, just wanted to make her sick so they could take Tanisha out of their pod. Our investigation sent social media into an uproar. It got the attention of celebrities like Viola Davis, who spoke out about this. Viola Davis wrote, quote, Tanisha, you were failed on every level. This is blatant disregard for human life. Adding to the family's heartache, Photos of the jail staff have since emerged, allegedly having a potluck while Tanisha was suffering in a cell nearby. We ain't gave up yet. We ain't giving up yet. What started as a criminal case now has evolved into a civil case. Tanisha's family says that they will be marching to the Jackson County Jail on July 16th, one year to the day that she died. They say they will not stop and will continue to press the FBI and the Department of Justice in the fight to hold both the Jackson County Jail and those inmates accountable. Do black women's lives really matter? Do we really matter? Do we? I ask myself that every day. Do, do my life really matter? Because people walk around like, oh, it's not me, so I don't care about them. You know... We, it's like no one wants to st stand up and be a, a team, be as one, and let's fight for the right reasons. We have reached out to the Jackson County prosecutor for a comment. We're still waiting to hear back. For TSR Investigates Updates, I'm Justin Carter.
Hello roommates and thank you for watching our YouTube channel. Do you want more TSR Investigates? Be sure to subscribe and check us out at theshaderoom.com.